Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of The Sims for the Royal Family. So in this episode, we are focusing on a few different things. For those of you who missed the last episode, we just basically went over the custom content that I found or the royal custom content that I found for our Sims. And I'm just so happy because there's so many gorgeous dresses. We got these beautiful crowns and I did add a few more stuff since we last did the video, too. So not too much more because I'm just having like such a hard time finding some stuff, but it's definitely like a few things more. So we might be able to get to see that today um, on some of the Sims that we didn't get to do that with last time. I know in the last episode, I said we were focusing a lot more on Princess Anna in this episode, but I just think that she is not ready to settle down yet with Sir Marshall of Brindleton Bay. I think that she's still working on her acting career. I mean, she's on like level six of her acting career right now. So she still has like some time. I mean, she wants to be just this really well-known actress. So I think we're going to give that a little bit of time, but maybe we'll try to take it just like a little bit of a step further today with them. But I got some custom content royal furniture for us. Not too much stuff, mostly things for the toddlers. So I think today we're going to start with that. Before we begin today's episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications so you get notified when we post a new video. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter at MiraRay underscore. And let's go ahead and begin today's episode. So today we're going to start with the royal family of Windenburg. So I kind of already put some of the custom, oh, this isn't even custom content. I put some uh, new toddler beds in here because we only had one toddler bed and two bassinets. And obviously we don't need the bassinets anymore. I think I was just kind of saving that for whenever the next generation has their babies. So we're not going to do that with them. So it's just, I mean, it's a little bit small in here. And I, we only really use this bedroom if they were to have a fourth child. And for the most part, we just have three kids. So, I mean, this room is huge though. Like this is usually the prince's room. And it just so happens that we've really only had one prince in the last few generations. Oh shoot, no, our toilet is broken. <gasps> Queen Alice, you should not be mopping. You can let your butler do that. So why don't we hire a repair? We should get an unbreakable toilet. I don't know why they have this, but why don't you hire a repair service because you do not need to be doing that. So she's calling a repair service. She can go hang out with her little toddlers right now. So why don't we have her join Princess Amira with playing dolls? And one of our viewers uh, said that they, oh my gosh, no! Princess May is streaking! <gasps> oh no! Stop it! Oh my gosh, the butler is just... Re That's a new butler. That's a new one. What happened to our other one? Okay. Uh, So it looks... Okay, Princess May has her clothes back on. Good. Oh, she was just running around streaking and the butler was just reading a book completely unfazed by it. So we do not want our little princess going around the castle and streaking streaking so uh, she is good now but yes so one of our viewers said that they think princess may since she already is the wild one maybe she would be more like a tomboy and i think that's a good idea i think that she would kind of be like that i mean she's already the wild one she's very similar to princess uh not princess alice to princess anna which is her aunt so it looks like her and princess anna they have a pretty close friendship i believe yeah so they are are pretty close. They're childhood buds. Oh wait, that went away. Yeah, childhood buds and they're friends. So I think Princess Anna is going to be like her just role model. She looks up to her and I feel like Princess Cora would be Princess Amira's role model for sure. So I think that's definitely a good idea. And I don't think, because right now, since Princess May is a toddler, she kind of gets dressed by her parents anyway. I think that when she's a child, she might kind of start dressing on her own but then again she's a princess so maybe not she might not even be able to dress in any way rebellious but then there's this really cute kind of like pants outfit that i think that she would look really good in so we'll just kind of have to wait till she's a child it'll probably be a while till she does turn into a child so we'll have to wait for that but yeah i think that will be really really cute okay so we're going to go ahead and uh start playing with what we have here. So I'm just going to delete these toddler beds. These are not custom content beds. I kind of think this whole room just needs a makeover. So I'm just gonna delete everything. Oh, it's really, really dark in here though. But this room can totally, yeah, we need just some, just some light. Let's do like 
two maybe so this room is kind of small because right now if we're holding three little toddlers maybe we should just expand into this room because it's not being used right now so why don't we go ahead can we just like if i did this what will happen oh oh okay the door went that way all right that's not kind of what i wanted to do so why don't we hmm how what is the best way to do this okay well we can definitely expand can we expand that way i don't think we need the fireplace here i feel like that's kind of pointless to have there so oh nope that's not what i wanted to do either oh my gosh i have this new mouse and it's kind of sensitive so it just kind of picks up random things so sorry about that um okay and then now we have this random corner right here so we are going to i just didn't mean to grab that sofa we're going to move this in although that's the master bedroom like that's the king and queen's bedroom which i feel like we also need to change up a bit okay so i'm not going to do that i am just going to i just want to ah this is maybe if i do that that works but then there's this random corner <laughs> that's bothering me okay what if we do let's do nope that's not what i wanted to do why can't i move this what is happening what is going on i just want to move this room i for some reason i just can't move that wall all right so i don't know what to do that's fine i'll just i'll put another wall there or something so this room is kind of like not not much bigger just slightly bigger so we can should we move this too is that going to be too narrow of a hall i don't i think this hallway is kind of point oh yeah that's too narrow that's too much okay so i'm just going to get rid of this maybe we can have like a sleeping quarters and then a playroom quarters so i think i'm going to open up this door right here so we can just add like an arch or something just so it's not like a closed off door and it's kind of still part of the room so we can do oh yeah let's do it like that and then like that and then that although there's this random wall here but i think that's fine okay so we're going to do that i'm going to add the same wallpaper in these rooms do we want to change up the wallpaper though i feel like we can oh all right this is not kid like at all but i'm trying to think of like like a royal nursery like what would that even really look like for the wallpaper i have no idea i don't think if they would have like anything super crazy like this maybe like something like that no okay you know what for now i'm just gonna keep what we have and then i'm just gonna put some fun wall decals on the wall too so we'll have that and then do we have any more fun curtains it's still like a palace so i don't think it would be too kid like if you know what i mean like for like these rooms have stayed the same for many generations so i don't think it would change all that much i honestly i want i want to give this room to princess may and i want to give this room to princess amira because this was princess anna's room and this was princess uh cora's room so i think it's cute to give them like their role models room i think they would be super super happy about that like imagine if you're a kid and you had a role model and you were like as the parent you told your child like oh this was like your aunt's room and you're like <gasps> Oh my gosh you'd be so excited you'd be like i get my role models room so i think that will be very exciting for them when they grow up for us to tell them that uh okay so we want the carpet i think we're going to do also maybe like a like a yellow or like a pink or blue something i could change it up i could do like pink on one nah eh. i like pink in both of them i think i don't like the blue and the yellow i like the pink and the yellow or hmm oh my gosh i'm sorry this is driving me crazy should i have all the beds in one room i feel like that would make sense or should i make one of them the boy room and one of them the girls room i think we're going to do both like i'm sorry i think we're going to do the bedrooms in or the beds in one room and the oh, i don't know because i have like i have to show you these adorable adorable custom content beds that i found and I put all of these, oh, whoops, 
Okay. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. All right. I put all of these beds and all the custom content. They're on my Pinterest board. So I will put that link um, in the description below so you guys can see that as well. I'm just looking. Okay, there we go. Show all. That's all I wanted. Okay. Ooh, those are new. Pink lava beacon. I have to add that at some point. So custom content. So like I got these adorable princess beds. I mean, look at this. This is so, so cute, guys. I'm in love with these. I think they are adorable and I think they're perfect for the girls. It's just, it's really cute. It's adorable. I love it so much. But then I also got like, so I have, I have this one and then you could put like a canopy over it, which is super cute too. So this is why I was thinking of maybe putting like each of the toddler stuff in each of the bedrooms. But ah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm having such a hard time with this. I need to change up the bedrooms a little bit too. I'm sorry. I don't want to spend too much time on this. So why don't we just, okay, you know what? For now, I'm, I'm going to, that's my favorite bed, but I'm just going to move that for now. So we're going to do the two girls beds and then the boy bed. So I'm going to put the canopy on top of both. And then, well, I think we're going to move it over a little bit and then move that one over i think so is that symmetrical i don't know okay and then we're going to give our little prince his bed he can be right in the middle here and then we're going to give him a canopy too so it's just like slightly different i think this is really cute guys i think it's perfect for the nursery because you kind of want all of the kids to be in the same room um you don't want them like spread out everywhere so i think this is fine so we're going to put all of their high chairs next to each other as well. So that way, when you feed them, they're just like already there. I think that would be so much more convenient. And then I didn't get like a, like one of those kid potty things. So I should, oh wait, did I? Princess, oh, I did. Oh, I didn't even realize that. Okay, so we need to, oh my gosh, there's like ash here from a previous fire. I need to get someone to clean that up. I don't even know if there's a door out here, so I need to fix that. Okay, so that's um, Prince Kellen's, and then we have both the princess's toilets here. Those are so cute, guys. Oh my gosh, I love that. Do we need a carpet or anything? I don't have custom content carpet yet. I am like, I, I swear, I feel like I've been looking for custom content for like hours. I mean, seriously, it feels like my whole day has just flown by and I don't know what happened to it. So I feel like I've been looking for custom content like all day, but it just has, I feel like I don't have any at the same time. It's super, super weird. Okay. Oh, this is, oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. I love this. I'm not the biggest fan of the curtains, but I think I'm just going to need to change that later. They're just a little bit dark. But yeah, I can totally, totally change that a little bit later. So I just want to get some cute kid wall decorations for us too. I'm probably, I, I downloaded this pack of custom content that had like wall decorations for the kids too. I know this isn't like kid-like, but uh, yeah, that's, that's not, not kid-like at all. But it's still a castle. So I feel like it would still be very elegant looking. Like not everything would be for the children. What? Whoa, I've never seen that mural before. Oh, that's cool. All right, that's definitely not for their room, but that's super, super nifty. Okay, so I think this would definitely go in there. Um, I think that should also go into the kids' rooms when they grow up too, but I'm gonna do like a pink one and a blue one. And then maybe I'll do like a like a mixed one. So this can kind of be like each of their sets. I kind of just imagine that this is like one of their, each of their initials, even though they look the same, but I think that would still be really cute. And then, okay, so we have their bedroom. I think, oh, that's so cute guys. I'm really happy with that. Okay, so we have their bedroom and then we need their toys. So they're not really going to be um, kids anytime soon, but I want to at least have like some, like some of this stuff won't even be, they won't be able to use until they are children. But I still want to at least have it in here um, just because I know, I know they'll grow up soon or I guess not too soon. But it's so nice to have this in here. Okay, so we'll do that. Oh, I forgot we have a kiddie pool. We'll need to set... Oh, yeah. Yeah. The kiddie pool. I want that to be 
Should we put that on a porch? That would be fun. I think we should put that maybe in the backyard, though. So we can put that, I guess, like out here. So whenever it's warm outside, they can go and do that. So we have some of the activities we've already put out. And then I want to have another dollhouse in here because it's super, super, super cute. So the dollhouse, oh gosh, okay. Maybe we should get rid of the puppet stuff because that's not going to be able to be used for a while. So we'll put the dollhouse right, right in the center maybe? Yeah, you know what? They don't really need this right now. So I'm gonna put that away. So that one, can the toddlers use this? Yep, they can. Oh wait, what did I do? I thought I, oh. You can just sell the llama game and keep the table? I did not know that. All right, we want the unicorn. I want the dragon to be in here too. We'll put them right, let's put them right next to each other. And then we have, of course, our nice little toy bins. So we'll put the toy bin in the corner right here. So we don't even have a bookcase. We need to put the bookcase in here. So I'll put the bookcase right there. Oh no, I should put the bookcase right, right here, maybe? We'll put that there and then uh, they have the tablet. Should we give them each their own tablet? I feel like that's super spoiled. I know that they are princesses and princes and they probably would have their own tablet, but I don't know, I just feel like that's really, really extra. I don't know why. Uh, I think they can deal with it. I think they're fine. All right, and then we wanna get some blocks for them to, yeah, so one of them can do blocks, one of them can do the tablet. Let's see, what else can one of them do? Let's, oh, and then we have like the dollhouse in here too. So I think there's plenty of stuff for them. I wanna add another little fun, cute rug for in here. So why don't we actually do something fun and cute? Oh no, that's not big enough. Ah, oh, shoot. I know I can make it bigger, but I don't think I have that turned on at the moment. So I can do that later. Uh, let's see, what other, I think we'll just do like another one of these. I have one of these in like every single room. So let's see, like that? Is that centered? I think so. I think, yeah, it is. Oh no, but it looks weird with that one. Yeah, all right, we'll delete that for now. I will come back to this. I think this is good for now. I think I am definitely going to need to change the curtains for sure because I do not like, I don't, yeah, I don't really like this, but I don't want it to be like super, super purple. Uh, is this like too, too fancy? Oh, that's so gorgeous. I love that. We really, I think, ah, uh, yeah. All right, we're doing this. We're, oh, no, that's not what I want to do. We're doing this. And then I kind of want to change up the bedrooms in the uh, the other bedrooms. Ah, what is happening? Are the, are those are, those are, okay. I was like, those are totally different lengths. So I'm going to get rid of these curtains here. And then I definitely, so yeah, I wanna change the bedrooms a little bit. I'm going to refrain from changing anything in the, um, not the guest bedrooms, but the bedrooms for the kids when they grow up. And I think we'll just uh, change the, the royal bedroom for now because I don't wanna to focus too much on this. I still want to go uh, see Princess Anna. And then we also want to go see the Royal Family of Oasis Springs because Princess Lindsay is supposed to be having her baby soon. So we are going to get to go see her. And I think um, their Prince Francis also needs to age up too. So we'll definitely go ahead and do that. So, all right, let's see what, their color has, oh, that's too cute. I don't think it should be that pink. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I made their room green. To be honest, I don't like it that much. Um, but then like, what other colors? I swear I also downloaded a custom content bed that I thought would be really fancy for them. But I don't know where that went. And I don't think they should do pink. So I think that's a little bit too girly. I think I'm gonna have to come back to them and and yeah I think I'm just gonna keep that other bed for now even though I really don't like it. It's way too dark. 
but we'll keep this for now and then I will come back after I have some more custom content and then we can change uh, the other stuff too. So I'm going to just put a door leading into the kids room from the hallway and I need to change that little hallway alcove thing but I am going to do that later because I want to move on for us. So I don't usually spend too much time with builds and, and customizing our rooms and stuff on, in our videos. So. Uh, I hope this didn't take up too much time for you. I hope you guys actually found this interesting. So we, oh gosh, I love it. It's really pretty, guys. This is totally different. This is so different now. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. If we should keep it like this or if you guys think that we should maybe put each of their rooms, like have each of their rooms be a toddler room. I just think that looks like a lot of work. So I don't know if we're going to do that, but maybe I think now I want to update all of the rooms to this kind of curtains and, and maybe just like update everything a little bit more. Princess May just became good friends with King Henry the fourth. Oh, good. Oh, oh, I'm so glad. She kind of seems like she might be a daddy's girl a little bit. She Dark definitely loves boy. her dad. She probably looks up to him a lot, especially if she, especially if she's going to be a tomboy. I think she would definitely look up to him a lot. So that would be really cute. Okay. So we are done with this. Um, I want to move on to, it doesn't, oh, I don't even know if we're going to get to the Oasis Springs baby in this episode because I don't think she's supposed to have her baby till the evening time. So we'll kind of just have to see. Oh, no, I did not want to travel. Um, we'll kind of just have to see how it goes with Prince is Anna. I just want to take it to like the next step with her and Sir Marshall. And for me, I feel like that would be maybe him moving in. And it's just that like if he moves in, that's kind of implying like he's not because right now he's helping his family with their business because they own like all the restaurants in in Brindleton Bay and as well as the Cheslama. I'm pretty sure they own that too. So it's kind of implying like He's going to move in with her and he's not helping his family with the business anymore. But I just think that he loves her so much. But then Princess Anna's also not ready to settle down. But then I feel like he'd be like, oh, well, whenever you're ready, I will be here for you. So yeah, I think it's a lot. I haven't added any really custom content to Princess Anna yet. What is happening? Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh, this TV is so big. I cannot get over it. All right, so we're going to invite over Sir Marshall, invite him to hang out on the current lot. And I think that, um, I don't know if we want to go on like a full date with them. Maybe we'll go on like a short one or something. Um, but I think that with them, oh, I heard someone famous. No, no, because we're famous. We don't care. Okay, so Sir Marshall is coming i see him now so he is here we can invite him inside so we're going to invite him in oh she should definitely give him the the house keys first i think i think that would be a good step for them so she is going to give him the what is happening with this house this house is driving me crazy okay so give, uh, well, why don't we like flatter and say hi to him first? Because it, it doesn't even look like they really kissed or, or said hi to each other or anything like that. So we want them to go ahead and do that. So uh, let's let's embrace each other. Yeah, I definitely want to change Princess Anna's outfit. I guess she's not really. What is happening? I don't know why it keeps doing this. It's so odd. Okay, so give residence key. Yeah, I was going to say she's not really like yeah. living in the castle anymore, so she can kind of dress more provocatively and show more skin now if she wants to. So maybe this is okay. I don't know. I think I'll just play around with her outfits a little bit more. I think it's good to change outfits just once in a while, so we can definitely do that. Okay, so she gave him um her hit her resonance key. So, oh, oh, that's so cute. He just kissed her cheek. Oh, that was so cute. She's walking away like, yes. Okay, we do not want to ask just to be friends. We want to... Where was it? I saw it before. I I forgot what it was, though. Um, But when I see it, I will know. Okay, she's taking out the trash. I think Princess Anna needs a butler. Because she can... She. I mean, okay, well, she doesn't have that much money. But I, I'm pretty sure she would be able to afford it. So we're going to kiss 
be romantic. Um, we'll kiss. And then, oh, yeah, it was uh, become best friends. I saw that. I think that'd be really cute for them to be best friends. I think that would totally work. What is happening? Why is it because like this? What? I'm not even doing anything. And it's moving like that. That's so, so strange. I don't not know what's happening, guys. Okay. All right. Yep. Yeah. All right. Go talk to Sir Marshall. So she's going to kiss. Oh, no. I thought they were going to kiss. But they just became best friends. Oh, that's so cute. Being best friends with your boyfriend. Oh, yes. Let's woohoo. I think for sure. I think they're like, we are such good friends. We are so close. Like, you're my best friend, but you're also my boyfriend. And I really, really love you. I wish one of the interactions was like, say I love you. I think that would be really, really good. And that would kind of like have us a step in the relationship. So I, I think they should really add that. Uh, but okay, so they're going to go woohoo. Um, and I don't know about having him move in. I think that he should though. I think that he should move in. I think that they would be like really cute. And it's just like such a step up for them but, because they've been like, they've been together for a while because let's see, how old is Princess Anna now? All right. Well, she still has like a long way to go till she's an adult. So she's still a pretty young adult. So I think close to maybe when she's like like mid young adult might be better for them but then again i think she just wants to like kill it in her acting career right now i think she wants to succeed with that i do not know why i cannot ask for i want to check open auditions and i don't know why it won't let me that's really really weird oh oh my gosh they had fireworks oh guys they must like really be good for each other i think they're really welcome for each other what welcome to the neighborhood um we moved in like a while ago i do not know what you guys are talking about i swear they've are i'm pretty sure they've already come over i don't know why they're here but i don't want to be rude but we're kind of like in the middle of something right now so maybe we'll just let's oh i can't travel during oh. Can I just cancel the social event? Will our neighbors hate us? I don't care. I don't care. We do not want to talk. Yeah, maybe next time. All right. So they're not mad at us or anything, but all right. So um, let's joke about old times, I guess. I just want us to be super close with Sir Marshall. Oh, wait. I thought if they're best friends, then like their friendship meter would go up. What are you doing here? Lady, ask her to leave. She does not. She's like in the house uh no this oh my gosh this is totally from one of her nieces or nephew that needs to be cleaned up i think we should hire a butler i think i'm gonna do that for her but we need a we need a bedroom for sure for the butler but i will take care of that cancel gig what gig it says she doesn't have one all right i'm gonna cancel it because i think that's why it won't let me ask for an audition no 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 Sir Marshall, come back! No! Ask to hang out. Ask him to hang out. And then and then look for an audition. Okay. Okay. So, we are definitely on... Why are these so low? She's on, like, level 6 acting career skill. These should not be this low, guys. I don't know why. Let's do charisma, because I know for sure that she has a really good charisma skill. So, I'm going to... Uh, wait, come back. Come back. All right, Sir Marshall, you, I do not know why it's so hard to click on him. Okay. Um, discuss interests. Ah, do they want to move in? Why does I, Princess Anna, I need to see like her, her whims or something. Uh, I don't know where they, did I turn them off? I don't think I did. What does she want to do also? Oh, her acting. Okay. Earn gold in commercial acting. We could do that. Princess Anna has been acting for, like, a really long time. All right, so she's going to use the bathroom, I guess. So we are going to, um, do we want to have them move in together? Let's blow on a kiss. I think so. I think they would be ready. I think Sir Marshall can kind of tell his parents, like, we're moving in together, but... <laughs> I guess, like, don't worry. I don't know, because he also has a little sister, so she could easily just take over the family business and stuff, too. But then Sir Marshall would also be helping with the family business. I think it's okay that he's on his own. He should move out, because he's been living with his parents, and he's a young adult. And his parents are, like, still not young. I think they're almost elders, but... I think that he can be on his own, and I think that he would want to move in with his girlfriend. So we are going to do that. It's not expecting to do this completely, but... 
I, I, I like the idea of them moving in together. So I think we're going to ask them to move in. So this is really exciting. Princess Anna's going to be living with her boyfriend. And this is like the first serious boyfriend that she's actually had. So I think that this would be a huge deal and it's super exciting. So I did put some custom content hair on Lady Malaya. So she's super cute. She's like very, not like hip stir but I guess so like she's like a free spirit she's got like the short hair that's like not messy but it's like not completely contained um so I think she's definitely more of like a free spirit so I am I, I'd love to just kind of focus on the nobles one day and so you guys can kind of get to know them a little bit better plus we also have like a bunch of teenage no nobles right now so it would be nice to kind of like kind of see who gets together and all of that so I think that would be for sure really really cool i would love to know who your guys's favorite characters are and who your guys's favorite nobles are um if you guys haven't already don't forget to follow me on twitter because on there i would love to like just take a poll a poll a poll um a poll of, and have you guys vote on who your favorite uh royal is and who your favorite noble is because i think that would just be interesting for me to know because mine for sure is princess cora i don't know about you guys but mine is Definitely Princess Cora. Okay, so Sir Marshall lives with her now. That is so exciting, guys. They moved in together, and this is their house. I think they're gonna woohoo again because, like, this is just so exciting for them to are they're finally living together. Like, they've been dating for a while, and and Princess Anna hasn't really been in a serious relationship before. They are jogging to go woohoo, guys. That's how excited they are. Oh no, never mind. Princess Anna, stop jogging. She she heard me. She was like, I'm not talking. I'm not excited. I'm playing it cool. She, okay, we're just like looking at that butt like <laughs> as she's walking. So let's just follow Sir Marshall. I think, oh yeah, Sir Marshall Brindleton. I think he would still have the same title. I don't think we need to change that because Del Sol Valley is not a kingdom. So I think he would still have his, his title for sure. Okay, so they're gonna go woohoo. So, yeah, we... Hmm. I think we're running out of time, so I think I need to stop the episode here. I think in the next episode is when we can um, have the baby. We'll have a new baby of Oasis Springs because, yeah, we've already done a lot in this episode, so I think we can for sure move on. So uh, we're going to stop this here as they're woohooing, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow us on Twitter, and I will put all the links to my Twitter account to the... Dis uh, not to the description. I will put the link to our Pinterest board so you guys can kind of see the custom content that I have and get the links to download those as well. So definitely go ahead and take a look at that and we will see you guys the next episode.